Hey everybody! Welcome to today's lesson on instrumentation used in MRI. This lesson focuses on the essential components of an MRI scanner and understanding the specific functions each part performs. By the end of this lesson, you will have a clear understanding of how these components work together to produce detailed images of the human body, which are crucial for diagnostic purposes. All MRI scanners include a main magnet, a radio frequency system, a gradient system, and a shim system. In addition, there is a computer system used to interpret the signal produced during an MRI scan. The heart of the MRI system is the magnet which generates a powerful and stable magnetic field. This field is critical for aligning the protons in the human body, setting the stage for the entire imaging process. There are three main types of magnets used in MRI. Permanent magnets, superconducting magnets, and resistive magnets. Permanent magnets are made with large disks of materials such as neodymium, boron, iron, aluminum, nickel, or cobalt that retain their magnetic properties over time without the need for an external power source. These disks are called pole shoes and create a magnetic field from their inherent magnetic characteristics. Permanent magnets don't require electrical power or cryogenic cooling like superconducting magnets or resistive electromagnets. However, the magnetic fields produced by permanent magnets are not as strong. Superconducting magnets are the most common type of magnets used in an MRI scanner. These magnets use superconducting coils that conduct electricity without resistance at very low temperatures. These superconducting magnets can generate a very strong magnetic field, but they require a cooling system to lower the temperature of the coil down to allow for superconduction of electricity. Resistive electromagnets use electricity passed through coils of wire to generate a magnetic field. The magnetic field strength can then be varied by adjusting the current. This adjustable field strength is an advantage of resistive electromagnets. However, they produce a significant amount of heat, requiring more energy to cool the coils, which increases their operating costs. The radio frequency RF system includes the RF coils the RF transmit coil, and the RF receive coil. The RF transmit coils are resonator coils, which produce large fluctuations in voltage and current, which generate radio waves. The transmitter sends radio waves into the body to disturb the proton alignment created by the magnet. When these radio waves are turned off, the protons realign to their original state, a process which emits signals. The RF receive coils are designed to capture these signals. There are two types of RF receive coils, surface coils and volume coils. Surface coils are used to image surface anatomy, while volume coils are used to image large volumes of tissue. The gradient system consists of the gradient coils, which are cylindrical electromagnets, which superimpose magnetic fields of varying strength onto the main magnetic field generated by the main magnet. These superimposed magnetic fields modify the main magnetic field at specific locations, enabling the focus on a particular body area slice by slice. This selective manipulation allows for detailed imaging of specific structures. The shim system is used to correct inhomogeneities in the magnetic field. It consists of small ferromagnetic plates that are placed around the inner circumference of the cryostat. These plates help to compensate for inhomogeneities in the magnetic field through processes called passive, active, and dynamic shimming, which will be discussed in detail in a different lesson. These adjustments are critical for obtaining high-quality, artifact-free images. The computer system interprets signals received by the RF coils, transforming these signals into images via sophisticated algorithms. This conversion from raw data to interpretable images allows medical professionals to assess and diagnose based on clear and detailed visual information. Let's try a practice question to check your understanding. Which component of an MRI scanner is specifically designed to correct inhomogeneities in the magnetic field? A, the magnet, B, the RF coils, C, the shim system, D, the gradient coils. The correct answer is C, the shim system. 
The shim system plays a crucial role in adjusting the main magnetic field to ensure its uniformity across the imaging area. This correction is vital for reducing artifacts and enhancing the overall quality of the MRI images, thereby providing more reliable diagnostics. In summary, all MRI scanners include a main magnet, a radio frequency system, a gradient system, and a shim system. In addition, there is a computer system used to interpret the signal produced during an MRI scan. Each component plays a critical role in the acquisition of clear, diagnostically valuable images.